I'm here today with a very good friend of the Aspen Institute. Maybe you would like to introduce yourself. My name is Roland Hoffmann Teinert. I am the head of the Circle of Friends of Aspen, and I think I'm already a member of this Circle of Friends for more over than 20 years. 20 years, then you know the Institute very well. And of course, this year we're celebrating our 50th anniversary year. In a nutshell, um, what does the Aspen Institute mean to you? Aspen means for me openness, um, fairness, um, value-based leadership, as we all know, uh, but also, frankly speaking, um, transatlanticism. Of course, you mentioned the grappling with values, values-based leadership. Um, I think many people would say that values is what makes us different to other think tanks and institutes. Why do you think the importance of values is so important? Um, uh, I think we we need to have values to 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 know where 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 we come from, uh, where we want to go, um, what is our common interest. Um, but besides um, uh, only to to promote values, we also have to very much to digest our values today, and or we have to be at least. We try to, 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 to be sure that values should not become a new confession today. Uh, we have to very much be aware that our values we stick to should not become a new religion. Um, we, may, we have to be in a position to speak with other people who do have other values as well. Fantastic, that is definitely the case, and that is something that the Aspen Institute strives to do. Um, when you look back at all the years you've been with us, is there a particular event or moment that stands out to you that was particularly meaningful? Oh, um, good question. <laughs> should, I should have thought about this question <laughs> a, a little bit earlier. Um, I think um, uh, when Wolf Biermann was on one of those uh, Aspen uh, um, uh, uh, events, uh, the one who spoke about his history um, uh, in uh, the former GDR mm -hmm. uh, and uh, with all other guests from, from, Europe, from, from, from Germany and the US, we were listening to him and we were well aware that uh, with the help of our friends of, of Aspen in the US, we also had the chance to overcome those old uh, problems we had here in this in this uh, divided country. Um, so this is one of the, the, the moments I very much have in mind when I think about Aspen, but there are a couple of others. Yeah. What hopes and wishes do you have for the Aspen Institute going forward? To attract open-minded people um, and once again also those people who do not only want to stay in their bubble um, but want to to, to overcome this own bubble and speak with those people who, who might be not on the first sight our friends, but who are people in the same country. Or Thank you very much for taking the time to do this interview with us. Thank you.